Hi guys, so this is round two of trying to film this video. I filmed it before and I accidentally left my outdoor settings on my camera because I had gone away for the weekend, so I just didn't look into that. And next thing you know, I get people commenting that they couldn't even see my face because the coloring was so bright. So I apologize for that and this is my second shot at filming this again for you guys. I'm basically going to be jumping through everything as fast as I can. My last video was 14 minutes long, so I'm going to try and cut it as short as I can. All the swatches will be placed next to me as I'm talking about them. I swatched them on a whiteboard for you because I clearly can't swatch it on my hand anymore. I did do henna before anyone asked. I did it myself. I was bored. Apparently, the darker that this shows up on your skin, the more likely your mother-in-law is going to love you. So according to this, my mother-in-law and I are going to be best friends. I'll get back to you about that in a couple of years and we will find out how true that was. Okay, so first up I have a product by Too Faced. You guys might know what this is. This is their melted lipsticks or lip glosses, whatever you want to call them. I have them in three shades here. So first up I have Melted Fuchsia, then Melted Violet, and then Melted Peony, Pony, Peony, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know how to pronounce it. But those are the three shades that I have. I know they came out with four or five new shades just recently. And they also had Melted Coral, Melted Mood, and Melted Ruby. So they had those ones additionally. These lip glosses or lipsticks are to die for. Basically what they are, they're supposed to be a liquid form of a lipstick which they are, they're supposed to have the stability or the lasting power of a lipstick and then also have the glossiness of a lip gloss. And I stand by these products. These are amazing. You can apply them once in the morning and they will last all day long for you. They don't budge whatsoever and you really don't need a lip liner at all. As far as the applicator is concerned, it's different from anything else that I own and it is actually more precise than you may think. So it's like that. These are just amazing lip glosses. I would highly recommend these for anyone who likes to apply their makeup on the go or they're very short on time. Next up, I have two lipsticks from Lime Crime. For anyone who doesn't know about this company, this is a company that has some pretty wild lip shades. They also have lip glosses and I think some sort of eye product. I'm not really sure. I know they have some wild purples, pinks, oranges. These are also very opaque lipsticks in that the color that you see online is really the color that you're going to get and the color that's going to show up on your lips. Even if you have pigmented lips, these colors are very true and they're going to appear the exact same way on your lips. Okay, so the first color that I got is called Great Pink Planet and this is a very basic pink. Like this is the most basic pink that you could probably get your hands on. I know for myself I'm drawn towards pinks and that is one of the reasons why I got this color. So if you're looking for a very Barbie pink type of color, I would highly recommend getting this color. Then the second color that I got is called Countessa Fluorescent, and this is more of a neon pink. It's kind of close to Candy Yum Yum, I would say so at least. I love this company and I would recommend it to anyone who is more on the bold or daring side and is willing to wear some crazy colors on their lips. So definitely look into Lime Crime for that. Next up, I have a company that's all over Instagram. It is Dose of Colors. Okay, so first up, I have two lipsticks from Dose of Colors. Both of these are their newer releases. The first one that I have is called Soft Touch, and it's more of a coral nude. So if you really like any coral nudes, I would recommend getting this. I wore this color in my last video, which was... What was my last video? Oh, it was my new skincare must-haves. I was asked about what color was on my lips, and that was this color right here, Soft Touch. This is my new favorite nude that I will be turning to pretty much for quite a while until I run out of this and get a new one. So I really, really love this color. Next up, I have Sorbet, which is more of an orange nude. It really does show up quite orange on your lip. You could quite possibly pull this off as a nude shade, as an everyday shade for yourself. So don't feel like you're not gonna be getting this just because I said it's orange. It's actually a beautiful color, especially for the summer. Wearing oranges for the summer are stunning. Okay, next I got three lip glosses from Dose of Colors. The first color that I have here is called Sunshine Kisses and it is a basic coral nude. It is stunning when you pair it with sorbet on your lips. Oh my god, I love the color. It's got this oranginess to it, yet coralness, and it looks so, so good on your lips. So I really, really do like this color. Next up, I have 
Toxic, which is an amazing deep, deep purple, and I felt like it would pair really well with Max Rebel for the fall months. I did go out of my comfort zone with some of these products, but I just felt like I needed to, you know, venture out a bit and try different companies and let you guys know what my thoughts about them were so that if you wanted to invest in any of these, you would know if it's worth it. And last but not the least, I got Burning Love by Dose of Colors. This lip gloss is just a typical red lip gloss that I feel like everyone needs because if you ever have a red lip and you want to make it a glossy shine, I would recommend getting this shade if not any other red lip gloss. All of these lip glosses are amazing and just like Too Faced, these ones don't budge whatsoever so I am obsessed with them. I know they had quite a few other shades and they're just gorgeous stunning shades. Next I have another set of lip glosses and this is another company that's all over Instagram and that is Whitening Lightning. So these are the shades that I have. These lip glosses are all over Instagram because so many people are obsessed with them and I can now see why. So basically as far as the container is concerned, it looks like this. And I know so many people have done reviews online about this product but I never really understood how the light turned on and simply it's when you open it up, the light inside turns on. Can you see that? How amazing is that? So if you're ever out at night or you're in a dark place and you need to reapply your lip gloss, have no fear, Whitening Lightning is here. Um, on top of that, you also get a mirror right here. I have the cover on mine so I need to take that off. These lip glosses are amazing also if you have lips that are on the thinner end because somehow, I have no idea what's in them, they make your lips look more plump and fuller. It's, it's kind of crazy but I am obsessed with it. As far as colors are concerned, the one that I just showed you is called Coral Craze and it's basically a pink coral that you could pair with any nude color and it looks amazing like that. Also, all of these lip glosses are very rich in colors such that if you chose not to wear any lip balm or a lipstick underneath them, you would literally get the payoff of this color onto your lip. You could wear these on their own and they look stunning just like that. So next up, I have Rose Hill. This is Jaclyn Rose's color. It is stunning. It's like this mauve pink that I feel like you could pull off every single day and it has tinges of red in it so it really it's, it's just a beautiful color I'm obsessed with it the next color is this perfect Barbie pink it's called raspberry sherbet I don't really know how to say that but we're just gonna go with it anyways it's this perfect Barbie pink it's stunning on your lips it just really stands out when you put it on I am obsessed with it so I decided to get that color. Fourth lip gloss by them that I have is their signature color. It's nude. It is all over the internet. This is the one lip gloss that kind of grew the company into what it is right now. People have been obsessed with this shade. If there is one shade that you need from this company, it is this nude. It is the perfect nude. Like I, I can't even describe it any other way. It's perfect. On its own or with a nude lipstick, this color is the perfect nude for any skin tone so I would recommend getting this for sure and last but not the least I got another red lip gloss this is called candy apple so as you can see it's a very vibrant red and this will definitely stand out with any makeup look that you're choosing to wear on any particular day so I have a ton of Mac products but before I get into that I'm gonna show you EOS their EOS is lip balms all four of these came together in a pack from Costco that I got I have been obsessed with these. I don't use baby lips anymore. I mean, I like them, and you guys know I was obsessed with them when I first started my channel, but hands down, these babies have been my go-to for quite a few months now. I have to keep these by my side at all times because I'm addicted to them. My lips have to be hydrated thanks to these babies. When you apply them once, you're just you want that feeling on your lips, the soft suppleness on your lips again after it dries off, so you reach for it again. And if you haven't tried these out yet, I would definitely recommend going out and grabbing at least one for yourself. Next up is MAC. You guys know how big of a MAC girl I am and how obsessed I am with MAC products. Like, it's, it's just not healthy. So first up, I have a new lipstick from their Alluring Aquatics collection that just came out really recently, actually. And it's called Enchanted One. It's a matte lipstick. I was drawn to it. Like, if there was one item that I needed from the entire collection, it was this. That's what I was drawn towards because I felt like everything else I had something similar to, so I just didn't feel like investing in any of that stuff. But this is a perfect, like, matte nude that I saw and instantly knew I had to get. I know 
that Velvet Teddy has really gained a lot of popularity thanks to Kylie Jenner. That's what she's been using lately on her lips to get fuller looking lips and it's a matte finish. I wear Velvet Teddy on a daily basis. As soon as I got this, I started using this daily now. This has more of a pink and a lighter tone compared to Velvet Teddy. It has 3D water droplets on it. Next up, I have Sweet Experience. It's an amplified lipstick. This is part of their Playland collection. It's just the most perfect light pink shade that you could possibly get. You just can't get any better of a pink shade than this baby right here. So I got that. Along with that, I also got their um, lip glass in pure silliness. It's this perfect neon pink lip gloss that I felt like would go really well with Candy Yum Yum. At least for the summer, it would look so good on your lips. Like, how perfect of a pink is that? It's so stunning. Okay, next up, I got Viva Glam Rihanna. This is another Rihanna collection with MAC. She has so many, I just, I can't keep up. Anyways, it's this glossy red shade that has like a sparkle to it when you apply it and that is why I was drawn towards it. I love it. It's just another red lip shade that I feel like everyone needs and it has a frost finish which is very true. You will see a frostiness I guess on your lips when you apply this but that's because there's sparkle in it. Next up I have a matte. It's called Pink Pigeon. It is a neon pink once again. As you can tell I'm obsessed with pinks. I just can't get enough of them but this is a neon pink and it has a matte finish so I was obviously drawn towards it. Candy Yum Yum has a neon finish whereas this is more of a richer pink, kind of on the fuchsia side, so that is why I was drawn towards this. Next up, I have another matte lip shade, and this is called Pink Plaid. It's basically like an everyday pink that you could wear. It reminds me of Please Me, but it doesn't have as much pink in it as Please Me does. This has more neutrals and more of a nude tone compared to Please Me by MAC. Next up, I have another matte shade, Are You Surprised? And it's one that I'm really obsessing over. It's called Heroine. I always want to say heroin. Just ignore that. Anyways, it's this rich purple and it's very true to color. Like the color you're seeing right there is the color that's going to show up on your lips. I love this for the summer, especially for the fall too. I feel like I could rock this in the fall and it's going to look amazing, just like Rebel. Rebel is a deeper, richer purple. This is more on the lighter end. I have two reds to show you. First one is one that I've been so, so obsessed with. It's like the perfect red shade for my lips. And it's a retro matte and it's called Ruby Woo. How did I not have this in my collection before? This is the perfect red for my skin tone and I have been looking for one just like that for quite some time. I mean, I have so many reds in my collection. None of them looked as well as this one does on my lips. So if you're anywhere close to my skin tone, I feel like not even mine, but just any skin tone, this is a perfect red for you. It works for all skin tones. I've seen so many people wear this and it's just stunning, so, so stunning. This is definitely my go-to red. Next, I have another matte red, and it's called Diva. I feel like everyone has this in their collection. It's a really deep, rich red. It's much darker than Ruby Woo that I just showed you, but it's just a deep, deep red. Next, I have two coral oranges, I guess you could call it, to show you. So first up, I have Flamingo, and it has a luster finish to it. As you can see, it is quite orange slash coral, I guess. It is very, very true to color. Like this is the color that's gonna show up on your lips. It's kind of hard to see, but it does have pink undertones to it. If you're looking for a peach, coral, or orange toned lipstick, this is one that you should definitely get your hands on. It is amazing. And then the next orange, coral, peach, whatever you wanna call it that I have is called Razzle Dazzler, and it's also a luster finish. This is more on the orange side. This is a lighter orange color such that it comes on your lips kind of as a lip balm. It's not very pigmented. So if you're going for something that has a lip balm finish and it's hydrating, this is definitely a color for you. So I felt like this I would wear more as a lip balm, not necessarily a lipstick for something that gives me a faint tinge of color and is not too dramatic. And last but not the least, I have this patent polish lip pencil and it's called fearless it's obviously pink i went with pink again but they had a ton of other shades they had an orange i think they had a nude i don't really remember what they had but these are amazing 
such that you can wear these as lip balms. They're super, super hydrating. And the really cool thing about them is that you could wear simply one coat of it on your lips and that will run as a little pigmented lip balm on your lips. But if you are, say, going out at night and you want to wear the same lip shade, you can simply build it up and wear a couple layers of this and it will be even more pigmented, but it has the hydration of a lip balm. So your lips are left feeling very, very hydrated and moisturized all throughout the night. I am obsessed with these. If you can get your hands on one of them, I would recommend doing so. And they're just, they're just something that I feel like everyone needs. Even just one shade of these, you need to try these out. They are amazing. Okay, so that was my whole lipstick, lip gloss, and lip balm haul. Hopefully I didn't bore you guys to death with my never ending talking. And hopefully the lighting was much better in this video this time around. I apologize about my last one once again. And hopefully that never happens again. I will be sure to check my camera settings from now on. Feel free to leave any comments, questions, whatever you may have down below. And like I said, the blog post on this video itself will be up on my blog in about a day or so. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one.